Hello there boys and girls, I'm so happy that you could join me for today's lesson. In our last lesson, we looked at the long A sound. Do you remember what sound the long A makes? That's right, it says its own name. You were also asked to find as many words with the long A sound and use them to make sentences. I hope you were able to do so because we're going to use those sentences for this lesson. There's a little song that I love to sing. Perhaps you have sung it too in your regular classroom. It goes like this. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. God made them all. Where can you find your head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Well, they're all parts of the body. Just like the different body parts, there are different types of sentences. One type of sentence that we will look at in this lesson is the negative sentence. But before we can continue, let's see how we will know that we have learned. By the end of this lesson, you can say, I can explain how to form negative sentences. I can form a negative sentence correctly. I can rewrite given sentences as negative sentences. And I can identify negative sentences in a story. Now, did you know, boys and girls, that sentences can be negative? Yes, sentences can be negative. We form a negative sentence by placing the word not after the forms of to be and to do. Now, here I have an example for you. Let us look at this sentence. Mom is not wearing her apron in the kitchen. Let's read it again. Mom is not wearing her apron in the kitchen. In this sentence, the to be verb is the word is. After the word is, we can see that we inserted the word not. Not here is the negative word. So let's read the sentence again. Mom is not wearing her apron in the kitchen. But before we can continue, can you remind me of the sound that the letter A makes in the word apron? That's right, it makes the long sound. Remember boys and girls that the long A says its own name. Let's try this example. Rex does not have a long tail. Rex does not have a long tail. In this sentence, the to-do form is the word does. And here we have inserted the word not right after the word does making our sentence a negative sentence. Rex does not have a long tail. Do you have a dog at home? Does your dog have a long tail? Can you make a sentence about your dog using the word not, making it a negative sentence? I'm sure you can. Now it's your turn. Look at these pictures and construct your own negative sentences. The first picture is showing a group of children playing. Do you see the group of children? What kind of game do you think they are playing? Good. It looks like they're playing some sort of a ring game, doesn't it? They are all holding hands and going around in a circle. Let us make a sentence with this picture. And then let us see how we can change that sentence to a negative sentence. So let us look at the first picture. We see a group of children holding hands and they're standing in a circle. We could say, the children are playing. The children are playing. How would we change that sentence to a negative sentence? Do you remember what we are to do? That's right. We are to insert the word not right after the to be verb. So, let us see what it would look like if we were to change it to a negative sentence. The children are not playing. The children are not playing. Do you see the word not? Do you see that we put the word not right after the word are in the sentence? That's right. Now, you try this second picture. Mr. Brown is driving slowly. In this picture, we see Mr. Brown driving his taxi. And the sentence is, Mr. Brown is driving slowly. 
Can you make that sentence into a negative sentence? Good job, we would say. Mr. Brown is not driving slowly. Let's try the third picture. Here we see a lady doing her laundry. She's taking up some clothes and putting them in the washing machine. I'm sure you've seen mom do this at home. Or, if not, you've seen your mom washing outside. Now let us see if we can make a sentence based on this picture. Mom is washing the clothes. Mom is washing the clothes. How would we turn this sentence into a negative sentence? Good job. We would put the word not right after the word is. And the sentence would be, Mom is not washing the clothes. Now, boys and girls, you did a great job creating those negative sentences. Now, let us read this short story. As you read, be sure to look out for all the negative sentences. Now remember that negative sentences have the word not that come after the to be verb or the to do verb. I do not like Mondays. It is the day that I have to get up early to get to school. Mom says that I have the Monday blues. My dad is not happy on Mondays either. He says there is too much traffic on the road. Oh, how I wish that the weekends were longer. I could play with my toys, watch television, and go to bed later. Mom loves Mondays. That's the day when she gets the whole house to herself after a long weekend of washing, cooking, and cleaning. She does not enjoy doing all the housework by herself. So I will be sure to help her next time. Did you wish that the weekends were longer? What are some of the things that you do on the weekend? Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now remember, you should stay safe at all times. Now boys and girls, let us see how many negative sentences were in this story. Were you able to find any negative sentences in the story? I'm sure you were, but just in case you may have missed them, here they are. The first one, I do not like Mondays. What about this sentence? My dad is not happy on Mondays. My dad is not happy on Mondays. Do you see the negative word not in those sentences? Where do you see the word not coming? I'm sure you see that they're coming after the to be form or the to do form of the verbs. That is, do and is. Let's continue. Another sentence that is a negative sentence in the story is, She does not like doing all the housework by herself. She does not like doing all the housework by herself. Here we see that the word not comes after the word does in the sentence. Does your mom like doing housework at home by herself? Do you help your parents with housework? Good job. If you don't, I'm sure they'd appreciate your help. Now that you were able to find the negative sentences in the story, let us try to rewrite these sentences as a negative sentences. Now, these sentences are based on the story that we just read. Mom does enjoy having the house to herself. Mom does enjoy having the house to herself. Remember that we have to put the word not after the to be verb or to be form or the to do verb or to do form. Now, let us see how we can change this sentence. Mom does not enjoy having the house to herself. Mom does not enjoy having the house to herself. Let us try this second sentence. Mr. Jones drives in the traffic on his way to work. Mr. Jones drives in the traffic on his way to work. I want you to try this one. How would you change this sentence to a negative sentence? 
Mr. Jones does not drive in the traffic on his way to work. That's a good one. Here, though, we inserted both the word not and does because in the original sentence, does is not there. Remember, we have to insert the not in front of the to-do verb, which in this case is the word does. I help my mother with the housework on the weekends. That's our third sentence. I help my mother with the housework on the weekends. How would you change this sentence to a negative sentence? I do not help my mother with the housework on the weekends. Now here, we inserted both the words do and not. Remember, boys and girls, that we have to put the word not after the to-do form or the to-be form, which in this sentence is the word do. You can also log on to www.bookfusion.com, as you can see on your screen, for many fun and interesting reading books. Read as many of them as you can and look out for all the negative sentences. Once you have done that, I want you to write them down and share them with your brother, your sister, your parents and explain to them how we form negative sentences. Well, that's all the time that we have for this week's language arts lesson. But before we go, let's check to see if we have learned all that we wanted to learn from this week's lesson. Let's check to see your answers to these I can statements. I can explain how negative sentences are formed. I can form the negative sentences correctly. I can rewrite given sentences as negative sentences. And I can identify negative sentences in a story. I'm sure you learned that and so much more. Thank you for joining me for this week's lesson. I look forward to seeing you next week for another fun and exciting language arts lesson. See you soon.